Hello and welcome back to Space Engineers. In today's video, we'll look at another large block ship, and this one that I'm currently standing on, it's called the Charlin Class Assault Frigate, which is this lovely thing in the red and the white. So this ship is another lopsided ship, where you can see this protruding section on the side, it's our main bridge to control this thing, fly it around and whatnot, but the actual main bulk of the ship is your main internals, your living quarters, engineering bay, medical bay, and all of that. We've got two artillery turrets on the top and the bottom, a bunch of interior turrets scattered around there to handle any kind of pesky drones, or any kind of missiles coming towards you, and we have hydrogen thrusters who are good for flying around through space, or on a planet. So what we're going to do is have a look through the F10 menu, we're going to go around the outside, quick tour in the interior, and hopefully some space pirates decide to spawn in space, and I really hope they do, and then go and test out the guns, while mining one little problem the ship has, which is at the bottom of this steam page. But yes, this ship is 1,359 large blogs, using pretty much all the DLC packs. We can see here it uses a couple of scripts for decorative purposes, it uses no mods, and does have some subgrids, which for the antenna array. It would move down slightly, but then got our length, width, and height. We see our armaments on the ship, then all the way down towards the very bottom, past all the law, and then got the important information I was talking about just a second ago. Where it states it's not made for survival mode, it's not made for PvP. And there is a problem while fighting in the ship, where if you were to lean to the left, firing artillery gun, it will hit into you, which, well, there's nothing much you can do about that, apart from fight your enemies head on. So we're going to give this thing a thumbs up, move around towards the very front, but I think I'll start over at this part at the bridge, move around on the outside, like I said, and we'll go from there. So at this section, for our bridge, we've got ourselves a lovely window, where we can see our control seat to fly this thing around, with a bunch of other seats, fuel passages to sit on. To the left of that, we then see our camera, to help us get a good view of what's going on ahead of us, then we can see two rotors, which are currently angling some armoured panels to give you that overall great look. But right behind there, we can see our beacon, to make sure we can always find this thing. If we were to pull away from this, come around towards the actual front of the ship, to pass all of this over to here, we then see another camera, to get a good view of what's going on at the front of the main body of the ship, and there is a usual combination of a bunch of interior pillars sitting on top of a column. But yes, on the top there and at the bottom, there's our interior turrets and artillery turrets, Moving all the way up and around onto the side, here we go, past those neon tubes, all the way along this grey section on the middle, then you have a few little bits and bobs just protruding out, just some armoured panels, some catwalks, and some steel blocks. Over to that part, there's a window so we can view outside the interior of the ship. Over to this part and onto the opposite side of the ship, this is our main way of getting in and out, so we've got some catwalks coming all the way out, with then a sliding door to get inside. There's our hydrogen thrusters for our left and right, all the way around towards the back, some more interior turrets, and another armor panel sticking out, I think it's a small fin. And at the very back of this thing, here we go, got two large hydrogen thrusters, which should give us a nice sort of speed for driving this thing around. Putting my light on and coming in between them, we then see a conveyor cap which is sitting on the end of an O2H2 generator, then on the top and the bottom corners, surrounding all of that, and then got the side of our heat vents for a bit of decoration. Pulling away from this, moving all the way up and looking down, here we go, we can see our interior turret on the side there, a bunch of hydrogen thrusters help move us down, which have been separated by some columns. On the right hand side we see the green lights for our jump drive, that's where I'm standing on the very top there, where we can see a bunch of pipe work, which I believe I have called catwalks in a previous video. Then we will move all the way along, ignoring what we saw on the right hand side there, because we'll come back to that in just a moment. Past those actual catwalks, there's our artillery turret, there's some level locks saying the KAD. And on the front there, there's another artillery turret, once again some more catwalks, once again some more pipe works. And there's a interior turret, which we saw with our column with a bunch of interior pillars stacked onto it. Moving over to the protruding section on each side, our bridge, all the way down like so, we can see an antenna right behind it. There's the back of our rotors with our armor panels on each side. Over to this part, above our doorway to get in and out, we then have a wheel suspension block which has been clipped in through some steel blocks, clearly there for some decoration. Yes, getting a better look on this side. There we go. And I believe that's pretty much it for the outside. I can't remember if I've actually done the bottom of this or not, so I suppose we just come back to the front here, here we go. So there's turrets, there's some pipeworks, there's our layer block, another turret, into that part, the bottom of our catwalks get inside, there's our hydrogen thrusters, there's the camera and connector setup to help block this thing up, and there's our interior turret at the back of the ship. And there we go, that's a brief look around the outside of the Charlin class assault frigate, and looks fantastic with how it's all been set up. But now what I'm going to do is grab hold my character, now come around onto the interior, this is thankfully not much of a maze compared to the previous ship I did a video on, which was a gigantic maze of a bunch of different doorways. Now we've got to fly all the way down like so, now enter into this doorway. So we have whip, auto door and airlock script, we do not need to close the doors behind us, 
If we look around to there, there's one of our custom weapon controllers, and that's a doorway for the opposite side. Walking all the way up these steps, and you've got some barrels there, store a few bits and bobs inside, a doorway to go further into the ship, a little seat for you to sit on, and turn around towards the back there, there's some pipe blocks, some decoration. Turn around once again, opening up this doorway, moving up these steps, here we go, with some lockers around the room, and Evan to make sure we do it suffocate. Looking all the way up, there's an inset light block. Onto the opposite side, got another locker, another doorway to come through, which will come through right now. So into this part, this is going to take us through to our bridge. There's our seat to control it. A few more seats around the room with some tables. There's some transparent LCD screens, a projected table. There's a time block. There's a little coffee counter so you can grab a drink while doing your long voyages. And there's a little table for you to do stuff with if you want to. Anyway, we'll come back to this room at the very end of the video where we go through the controls. So opening up the doorway, walking all the way through, past this section, into here, and they've got a doorway that will open up to a toilet. So there we go, closing up that, walking all the way towards this section, opening up this doorway, come all the way around to a little living quarters. We've got a bunch of beds lining the room, into here, nothing else. Coming out of this to the opposite side. Here we go, a couple more beds through here into this section, a small little living quarters, we've got bookcases around the room, a bunch of tables, a seat with your TV, on the opposite side, a planter, a kitchen sink, a cooker, and another place to grab a coffee, walking past this part, into here, we've got some more storage barrels, and looking onto this side, another door with a toilet behind it, some more barrels in the yellow colouring, there's a little shelf, in this part, a lab table, and a little desk, there's a cargo access for us to drop stuff in and out with ease, then opening up this doorway, taking us to the very front of the ship, and we've got a couple of shelves, and on the opposite side, some pipe blocks, and not much else. So this is a complete dead end, where all we've got to do now is come back through here, go towards the back of the ship, back to that place we just saw. But I am feeling like I'm missing out an error. Yes, I am. It was this part back here. We're coming to here, got a seat, another custom weapon controller on the side, a door to open up, which will take us all the way around, and into a small medical bay, so there's a full-on medical bay block, a little desk for your medical staff to sit on. Opening up this once again. Background through here. Another shelf. Another cargo access. Opening up this. Here's your rear engineering section. We've got some button panels with nothing set up on them. A reactor at the back of the ship. Up there is an inset light block. We can see a pipe block onto an air vent. Then on the side of the room, programmable block. One of them is our turret radar script. On the opposite side, there's our auto door L script. Onto this part, there's our time block. Button panel with nothing set up. Little seat for you to sit on. And some lovely little corner blocks just covering up the side for small cargo containers. And there we are with this room. So yes, now the final, final thing to do is come back around to that first room we saw to actually drive this thing around. So I'm pretty sure I covered everything now. Time to walk past this little passage and come around into this doorway right here. So opening up that, closing up behind me, around into this seat. Here we go. First person view. This is all we can see in the actual cockpit view. So in the third person view, this is what it looks like we're actually going to do drive it around. But as for the controls itself, number one's going to be for your artillery guns, your manual artillery guns. Fire them both together with a click of a button. Pressing number two, there's going to be for your camera at the front of the main body of this ship. So the actual traditional place where you'd expect a camera, so you get a good view of what's going on. If we skip across to number six, that's going to be for your camera sitting on the very right hand side of the ship on the protruding section where your bridge is sitting. So now we can see clearly what's going on where we're driving. And then of course, number seven is going to be for your camera underneath the ship, right next to your connector to help dock it up. Anyway, coming out of the camera, back in the third person view. Number three is then for your turrets on top to change what they're targeting. Number four is to make them target what you're logged on to. Number five is then for your artillery turrets to turn them on and off. And all the way over to number nine for your antenna on and off, which you can switch off if you want to be very sneaky. Over to tab number two, three, we've got nothing else. So it's time to drive this thing around and see how it handles. So moving forwards, this is what we get. And as you expect from two large hydrogen thrusters, we've got a nice lot of speed. Coming to a stop. We are a little bit slower, but luckily we do have the drive controls to 180. Now we can boost forwards and stop ourselves a lot quicker. There we go. Moving left. And moving right, we've got a nice bit of speed with that. Moving down. And then moving up. Again, some nice speed, about the same as moving left and right, which is very nice to see. So the fastest thing on the ship is moving forwards, which is to be expected from a ship. This is a little more shoot and scoot style of gameplay. Or at least that's how I view the ship as. Means we are going to be scooting around, laying those artillery turrets, pummel into them. Then we're going to run away. And hopefully do a 180, then charge back into them. But yes, anti gyroscope controls, moving this thing around, is quite heavy, so moving around in the first part of view, there we go, does drag quite a bit. Look at that red goal move away, and the camera red goal. So you may want to slap on an extra gyroscope on this if you want to, as it stands, as the creator has set up, it perfectly suits the side of the ship and what it's trying to do. And with that, that's basically it for all the controls and what it has to offer. So the one final thing to do with this ship is to find some space powers and test that out. 
And here we go, I've started to engage with these not space pirates. He's actually a friendly faction that I declared war on. Now I'm going to very carefully, very, very carefully make my way all the way over to them and start to pummel them with the artillery guns, the manual ones, and hope we deal a nice lot of damage. But it looks like we are on a collision course, a unintended collision course. Come out, camera, first person view. Hopefully I can stop this in time, maybe, maybe not. But luckily, because our cockpit is on the side, it's not going to deal too much damage. There we go, now going to rub underneath the ship and probably disable a bunch of turrets. But there they are, that is a shipment. And well, that's basically what this ship is very good at. It perfectly disabled them, disabled all their guns. They might be able to escape from me. I can easily now just get out of this and start to salvage that ship. So now I'm going to change that to the propulsion and have them blast all the way into it. Come back into this camera. Here we go, let's get a good clear view of what's going on with them. There's one hell of a lot of smoke on them. And it looks like all their iron thrusters have been disabled. So now I'm going to change it to defaults. There we go. And just let them all pummel straight into them. I'm now going to fire this. Completely miss them because I'm using the wrong camera. I want to come into this camera, which I believe has been destroyed. Yes, it has. So that's going to very slowly drift away and come crashing back down to the planet surface. And now starting to spin. And I'm going to show me the bottom of the ship. Where hopefully the turrets can now fully engage. And. Oh, that was actually a nice shot by me. I was expecting to miss with that. So with that, I'll consider that a success. So what I'm going to do now is charge straight into them, crash into them at high speed, and that'll be that for this video. So here we go, moving all the way forward in a third person view. Hopefully I have aligned this correctly. It's quite hard to line up to have lost the main camera on the main body of the ship. But here we go, any second now, straight into them. Hopefully they'll deal a nice bit of damage. We do have a ramming spike on the front. Looks like we have scuffed it a bit, or I have scuffed it a bit. Missed them completely, took off their top. As you know what, just going to leave it there. So yes, that is it for the Charlin class assault frigate. It's a nice little ship to use in your world. If you do want to have something with a nice bit of firepower on there and a nice interior for the walk around in, maybe decorate if you wanted to. So I'll be linked to it in the description below if you should download and play around it yourself, as well as a link to the skybox I'm currently using. I'll be back with another video some point soon. Bye bye.